All right, I'm going to try to keep this video as to the point as I can. Most of you guys should recognize my 486 here that has basically a ticking time bomb in it. That Varda battery right there. So, I'm going to disassemble the computer. I'll be right back. All right, so the motherboard is out of the case. Now, I've never actually looked at this board, and I really don't see any ideas of who made it. You know, it's got the Megatrends uh, BIOS, but other than that, I don't really see anything. And I tell you what, man, I got lucky because this battery is looking like it wants to explode. So, we got to yeah, there's definitely some corrosion down there. I believe I have some alcohol here. I might not. So I don't know what I'll be able to clean this with. Because I I didn't really think about that. Oh, there is a part number there. PX486S0J. But I have a collection of parts here. Some of which came from Radio Shack. Oh, it might help to actually put you in the video. Radio Shack. This is a desoldering iron, and you know what? Everybody goes crazy over how people pronounce solder. So I'm just going to pronounce it how I want. And then I have a regular soldering iron. This one's just a little 60 watt. I have some soldering braid. I have some solder. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. I don't know if I want to try the Radio Shack. Or the stuff that I got. These came from Micro Center. There's two soldering irons. And this solder came from Radio Shack. There was a Radio Shack that was closing down like four years ago. I went in and bought a metric crap ton of stuff at 70% off. Which was actually kind of sad. But also kind of nice. <laughs> and then... Crap, I forgot to bring the little... I meant to grab... I have some foam, or not foam, but uh, some double-sided tape to mount this with. But this is a three battery. Oh, this has a clip on it. We'll see how, we'll see how we use this. It has an on and off. It's a three trip or three AA battery holder. That's gonna get soldered onto here. And then I have three Amazon Basics AA's. So let me heat up these soldering irons and I'll be right back. All right, so I have these guys. They should both be heated up by now. Um, how do I word this? I know that no matter what I do, there's gonna be, somebody has another way of doing it that's better. And I'm willing to take that criticism. Just don't be a dick about it. Oh yeah, that's definitely... I have never used a desoldering iron before. So this is going to be interesting. My understanding is you squeeze the ball. Hold it there for a second. This may also not be fully heated up. I'm also a left-handed person. And uh, I know that I could also add some solder to it with the other uh, solder iron. This may not be strong enough to do board level either. I'm also trying to keep this centered on camera, which is also a fun thing to do. Oh, you know what? That's actually working. Ah! I just spit some uh, melted solder at me.
brand new uh, mouse mat from uh, Lions Tech Tips, and I just <laughs> accidentally spit a solder ball on it. I just got it yesterday. This is a type of repair I have never attempted before. So the question is, is no, that's not loose. So what if I take, oh, let me, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll use the most recent stuff I got. I know there's a way you can, actually, you know what, let me just kind of, Okay, that just popped through. Alright. Battery's out. And I just touched the uh, tip where I did it. Where's my soldering braze? Or not braze, braid. Uh, clean up these tracks a little bit. I'll do do this on both ends. I have never used this either. My understanding is you just kind of do that. Oh, that cleaned it up real nice. Like I said, I've never actually done this before. Alright, so I'm going to unplug the desolder and iron because I'm not sure I'm going to need it anymore but I'll come to this side with that braid I don't know if it's necessary to do this side but I'm going to do it anyway I figure it's about time did I actually show some, like, real computer skill here? Alright. So, I gotta decide how do I want to do this. Um, I can... Where did I put that box at? I can cut this end off here and just solder these directly to the board. Um, I don't know how much I like that idea because part of me would like to have a disconnect let me see if I have something that I can take some well no I don't really, I should have gotten pins while I was there but they were they were like ridiculously expensive but whatever uh, let me let me see what I can do here I'm probably just gonna end up soldering this directly to the board Alright, so I did a quick test on the positive side off camera because boy am I out of, uh, out of um, practice soldering. <laughs> but it actually came out okay, I think. Or at least okay enough that it's not going to uh, cause any issues. And... Tell you what, like I said, it's not the prettiest solder job, but uh, it'll work. And now, so what I did, if you can't see, you might be able to. I when, before I took the uh, the battery out, I I marked which was positive and negative. Uh, this is definitely a Varda branded. It's 3.6 volts, and I hope that putting 4 volts to it won't cause a problem. You know what, I want to touch up this negative side. You know what, let me touch them both up on this side. I just, I don't know. But yeah, I'll go ahead and put this back together and make sure that the computer still works. And I'll be back in a couple minutes. 
So I learned something about these Rode microphones. If you tap that power button, it becomes mute. Um, I found that out because look, luckily it's not a whole lot, but I had turned the computer on and I had set the time and the date. And uh, well, the whole time I had to verify what I had did and did not record off camera. So I set up a computer over here. So the whole time that I was setting all that up, uh, this was sitting here powered off, which being an AT case or being an AT power supply, there's no power going to the motherboard. So everything is still good. Um, everything still boots as it should. And uh, I got a question for you. I now have a little bit more confidence in doing component level repair. So if you would like to see me do more component level repair, um, let me know because that's definitely something I would do. Um, I was trying to find a mouse driver for this and I just gave up because I'm like, that's not going to add anything to this uh, video doing that. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and leave it here. Uh, the repair was a success. I was a little, I'm like, I don't think a half a volt, actually it's 0.4 volt was going to hurt anything. So I just went ahead and, and uh, left that be. Uh, this is the HP uh, upgrade computer we were working on, the free dumpster dive one that I have over here. I'm actually going to build a uh, shelf to mount it underneath the desk and I'm just going to leave that as like the shop computer for when I need when I need certain uh, things done. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this here. I don't want to ramble too long. I want to kind of make a clear, concise, and right to the point video. And I think I did that. So, next stop, hardware store. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.